Just picture this for a second, it's month end, and you're looking at your bank account with your mouth agape. Agape. You're probably wondering, where all my money vanished to? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But hey, don't freak out. This isn't some sick joke, but rather a typical symptom of poor personal finance management. But what is this personal finance stuff? Just a snore fest of budgeting? Nope, way cooler than you think. It's like a wild jigsaw puzzle with bits like income, expenses, savings, investing, and goal setting. It's all about understanding where your dough is coming from, where it's going, and how to manage it properly to score your financial dreams. Think of it this way. You're the big boss of boss of your life. You're in the drivers you keep things in check and ensure it all runs smoothly. And just like a boss, you need a strategy. But guess. But guess what? There's no need for a snazzy suit or an office, just a good dose of dedication, a splash of discipline, and a solid understanding of personal finance management. In the next few moments, we're going to dive deep into the nitty-gritty of personal finance management. We'll discuss tracking your income and expenses, the magic of budgeting, did you know know it's magical? The power of saving and investing, and why setting financial goals is like having the golden ticket. And why not take a little walk on the side with debt management? Because face it, debt is like that annoying freeloader who just won't leave. So, are you tired of your money performing vanishing acts? Then stick with us. We're about to turn you into a personal finance management superstar. Ready to become a financial whiz? Let's get started. In this crazy world, knowing your bucks is just as crucial as knowing how to read and write. I mean, would you wander into a jungle without a map? Same way, you shouldn't walk down your financial path without a clue. That's where personal finance management steps in. Now you might be scratching your head asking, what's this personal finance management? Well, it's all about planning, organizing, and taking control of your cash to nail your financial goals. Think of it as your very own financial GPS, steering you on the best path to reach your end game. Be it buying a swanky pad, kickstarting a business, or chilling your golden years. But why is financial literacy such a big deal? Just as you wouldn't want to be hopelessly lost in a jungle, you wouldn't fancy being swamped with bills, debt, and financial question marks. ACE Personal Finance Management can be your lifeline to financial stability, helping you dodge unnecessary debt and stash away for your future. Not to mention, nailing personal finance management can slash your stress big time. Picture this, snoozing peacefully each night, knowing you're ready for unexpected bills, and you've got a solid plan to smash your long-term goals. That's the chill vibe that comes with financial literacy. And hey, let's not forget the ultimate goal, financial freedom. With some smart planning planning and management, you can make your money work for you, not the other way around. Imagine having the freedom to chase your dreams, jet off on that dream vacation, or even hang up your work boots early because you've played your cards right. So, personal finance management is your own financial GPS, guiding you towards your targets. Sure, the ride towards financial literacy might get bumpy sometimes, but with some cool tools and knowledge, you can conquer the financial jungle with swagger and ease. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial. Let's break down the pillars of personal finance. Think of them as the legs of a sturdy money table, giving it balance and stability. Our first leg, or pillar, is tracking income and expenses. Imagine yourself as a super sleuth detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're solving the cryptic life of your cash. Where does it sneak in from? Where does it go? And why does it vanish faster than the last cookie in the cookie jar? Unraveling your income and expenses like cracking the first clue in taking control of your financial mystery. You can use high-tech budgeting apps, classic spreadsheets, or even the good old-fashioned detective tool, a pen and paper. Don't worry, the world is brimming with clues to help you choose the right method for you. The next leg of our money table is budgeting and goal setting. Think of budgeting as your financial GPS, leading your money safely to your goals. There are numerous budgeting routes to take like the 50-30-20 rule or the zero-based budgeting. But bear in mind it's not about squeezing your dollars till they cry for mercy. Instead, it's about steering your spending towards your goals. Speaking of goals, ensure they're smart. Specially crafted, mapped out, achievable, relevant, and time efficient. You wouldn't embark on a treasure hunt without a map, with the third leg of our table is saving and investing. It's like planting a money tree that sprouts dollars over time. We've all heard the adage, save for a rainy day, but why not save for sunny days as well? For that dreamy vacation, your little one's university fund, or your golden sunset years. And investing is like tending to your money tree, helping it to grow. There are different types of savings accounts and investment options like stocks, bonds, and ETFs. 
If these terms sound like a secret code language, don't fret, there are plenty of guidebooks beginners. Finally, we have the leg of debt management. Imagine debt as a pesky woodworm in your financial table. If you don't deal with it, it can weaken your whole financial structure. Managing your debt effectively is key. Strategies like the debt snowball or avalanche methods or debt consolidation are like the bug spray. And remember, there's no shame in consulting a financial doctor for complex debt situations. With these four robust legs in place, your financial table will stand strong, unshaken by the winds of economic turbulence. Got the basics down? Great, but don't rest on your laurels just yet. Personal finance management isn't a set it and forget it game. It's more like chess, requiring continuous learning and nimble moves. Now let's explore the uncharted territories of financial literacy, risk management, retirement planning, and estate planning. Taking a step into financial literacy isn't just about mastering the art of balancing your checkbook. It's about decoding the complex economic world around you. Stay updated on the financial world. It's like watching a thrilling movie with its share of twists and turns. Be the protagonist of your own financial story. Dive into webinars, podcasts, and books online, and transform from a financial novice into a savvy navigator. Next up, risk management, our financial superhero cape. It's all about planning for those unexpected plot twists in the story of life. Not all surprises come wrapped in glitter, do they? An emergency fund is your superhero gadget, your financial lifeline in tight spots. It might not be the most glamorous part of personal finance, but trust me, you'll be thankful for this cape when the villains of financial crisis strike. Now onto retirement planning is like setting up your future beach house. It's never too early to start crafting that dream. The magic of compound interest is your handy tool. Just remember, it performs best when given time. Explore different paths to your beach house like 401, KAs, IRAs, and annuities. And remember, the journey to retirement isn't just about packing away savings, it's about investing wisely for a sunset view and a hammock in your future. Lastly, we come to estate planning. It might not be a cheerful topic, but it's like writing the final act of your financial story. It's about ensuring your assets play their part according to your script even after the final curtain call. This can include having a will or setting up trusts, all to ensure your loved ones are taken care of. Remember, personal finance management isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, a lifelong journey towards your financial goals. So keep learning, keep adjusting, and most importantly, keep running. Well, we've certainly been on a financial roller coaster today, haven't we? Let's take a breather and do a quick recap. We started the adventure by introducing personal finance management, not just as a fancy buzzword, but as a holistic approach to being the boss of your money. We made sure to underline that it's not just about budgeting, but about comprehending your income, expenses, habits, investment strategies, and most importantly, your financial aspirations. We then plunged into the grand scheme of things, emphasizing the growing role of financial literacy in a world where digital currency is the new monarch. We defined personal finance management as the process of planning, strategizing, and managing your money to make your financial dreams come true. The epic rewards, financial stability, reduced stress, and the sweet, sweet taste of financial freedom. Delving deeper, we examined the four pillars of personal finance management, tracking income and expenses, budgeting and goal setting, saving and investing, and debt management. We spotlighted the significance of each pillar, shared some hot tips and strategies, and provided tools to help you select what fits you perfectly. But hey, we didn't stop there. We journeyed beyond the basics, underscoring the importance of lifelong learning to stay updated on financial concepts, preparing for unexpected detours, starting early on the road to retirement, and the all-important task of estate planning. Remember, personal finance management isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's your own money adventure, and you're the captain of your ship. Now it's your moment to grab the wheel of your finances, start small, remain steady, and remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. So get disheartened if you don't see immediate gold at the of the rainbow. It's about making steady progress, not instant jackpot. We cheer you on to take action, share your money adventure, and seek professional map if needed. There's no harm in asking for help when the ride gets bumpy. Good luck on your money adventure and don't forget to share your epic wins with us.